Hi there, Mouseketeers! Welcome back to my channel. I have such an exciting video for you today, but I'm going to have such awesome Disney pin content coming up throughout um, all of September, October, and you know, just the future, and I don't want you to miss any of it. So please make sure that you are subscribed, especially because as soon as I get around to filming it, I will be filming a subscriber giveaway that features Hong Kong pins. I am just waiting for all of my pins to come in and uh, just having the time to film a video. So if you're interested in that at all, just hit subscribe today and then you don't have to worry about doing it later. And make sure to turn on that bell notification icon. Anyway though, today's video. I'm super excited about this video because it's my first ever pin tag video and in this video I'm going to be showing you some new pins that I've acquired that I haven't gotten a chance to show off plus some of my favorite pins that I have shown in the past on this channel so it's like the best of both worlds. I want to thank Taryn over from Twinkle Bell Taryn, my Canadian pin friend who has just an insanely amazing channel and if you haven't been watching her videos go do that as soon as you're done watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to her as well. She does amazing Disney pin content as well as some really cool unboxings and also some uh, Harry Potter content and then she throws in like just like lots of awesome things. So you want to you want to know her. You want to be her friend. Um, and she in collaboration with another channel that this pin tag introduced me to actually the Disney sisters. You should check out theirs as well. The Disney Sisters and Taryn collaborated to come up with this song inspired pin tag. So there are going to be 10 songs, Disney song titles, from this video that inspired which Disney pins we're supposed to select. And hang around because at the end of this video I'm going to tag a few awesome Disney pin YouTubers as well and I can't wait to see what they have to share also. The very first song that is going to inspire this pin tag is You'll Be In My Heart. Not my favorite Disney movie, um, <laughs> but I do love the concept because this pin is supposed to be a heart-shaped pin, which I actually turned out had I had a lot of those. I was really surprised. Apparently, that's like a big thing. Maybe for Valentine's Day, I'll have to do like a heart-shaped pin board or something like that. But now I really took this to the next level. Wait until you see this pin. You'll be in my heart, all right. Like. This is kind of suggesting the shape of a heart. It's more of a suggestion. It's kind of more of a heart blob. But look at all of the hearts around the frame of this pin. I think this is super cool. This is a limited edition I picked up. I think this might have been Disney Pins Auctions. It could have been eBay. I can't remember. I've had this for a while and just haven't shown you guys yet. Now, I don't typically love when pins have dates on them. This was a limited release Valentine's Day pin from 2003. But I had to make an exception because I love the inside. So it is a hinge pin. You see how nice and thick it is there. It's a hinge pin and it reveals, and I believe there were a few in this series. I'm definitely going to try to get a few more of these. It reveals Mickey and Minnie. I actually even forgot Pluto was in this pin, but uh, he's he's kind of um, creeping on his owners, I guess. I, I mean... Minnie's his owner, right? I don't know. Mickey is. He's creeping on them kissing either way, but he's super happy about it. Minnie, I, I love that she is just putting Mickey in like a love coma there. It's so funny. And so then there's another heart you can see here as well. So just a super sweet pin. You'll be in my heart. Totally fits. Gotta let me know if you think I should get other pins from this series because I think it's super cool. The next Disney song that is inspiring which pin I've selected is Kiss the Girl. And now, Kiss the Girl is one of my favorite Disney songs from one of my favorite Disney movies, and it features one of my favorite Disney couples, Ariel and Eric. However, I did not select them as my favorite Disney couple. This really made me focus my soul, soul search, and think about who is my favorite Disney couple. And I kind of thought it might be Ariel and Eric, and then I was like, no, no. And then I thought, Belle and the Beast. No, no. And I finally figured it out. It's Lady and the Tramp. I love Lady and the Tramp, and I have a super, super cool pin to show you I've never shown you before that I won from the Disney Pins Auctions website. It is a poster pin of the movie, and they have, if you're interested in this, they have these poster pins up on Disney Pins Auctions quite frequently, I find. So you can go and get one for yourself if you're interested. I, like, don't work for them. I feel like I'm, like, a shill for Disney Pins Auctions. I just use it, and I think you should use it, too. So this is the poster for Lady and the Tramp, and this 
is a series. They have so many Disney movies and even really obscure Disney movies from like the 1930s and 40s. I do want to get a few more of these. I think this was pretty cool. It has the original poster look, which I just find gorgeous. It has 1955 right here, which I'm assuming is the year it came out. I knew it was the 1950s. That animation, by the way, totally holds up. If you watch Lady and the Tramp, you're like, wow, this animation looks really good. Like, it doesn't look as good as, say, like, Cars or, um, like, Up, but it looks awesome. That's why I actually find it very hard to watch the Aristocats, because the Aristocats, I think, came out in, like, the 1970s, and I do not enjoy the animation style of that movie, and I don't think it, I think it looks old, whereas Lady and the Tramp, I think, looks so fairly good. And I do want to show you the back of this pin. I never show backs of pins, but I think it's, like, super cool. And it also tells you this pin came out in 2001. Like, what? This might be my oldest pin, or at least one of them, because I do have some that are so old they don't even say the, the year. But it just says Walt Disney over and over again. And I just thought the back of that was, like, really cool and neat. So I love that pin, and I was kind of surprised to learn that my own favorite Disney couple was Lady and the Tramp. I kind of thought, oh, it has to be humans, right? But no! No, your favorite couple, you might even say it's like Nick and Judy from Zootopia, even though they're not like officially a thing, but like we can totally ship them. Anywho, the next song, oh, I just, I just like badmouth this movie too. Oops. Um, don't tell anybody. But I do love the Aristocat characters themselves. I'm just not that into the movie. I think it's a little boring. I love the cats. Whenever especially Toulouse. Toulouse is my favorite Aristocat. Whenever he and Berlioz and Marie are on screen, I'm all about that movie. The rest of it, like I'm not that into Tom O'Malley. I'm not that into, I just think it's a little boring. I'm just not that into it overall. But I do like the song that inspired this next pin selection. That's Everybody Wants to Be a Cat. I kind of just randomly break out into that song every once in a while, but like I don't know all the words. So I just kind of, I'm like, everybody wants to be a cat because the cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. And then I'm like, that's it. So I just sing that on repeat while I'm like doing the laundry or something. It's, I probably should find out other words. <laughs> okay, anyway, it's Everybody Wants to Be a Cat and I'm taking this opportunity to open a little bit of pin mail. Um, and this pin was a trade that I made and it came with a lovely thank you card from Caitlin. Oh, we have the same exact name, only she is L-Y-N at the end and I'm L-I-N and let me tell you, there's so many ways to spell Caitlin. It's like a cursed name. I have literally spelled it for people and I'll be like K-A-I-T-L-I-N and I'll watch them write it incorrectly. Like if you're a Caitlin or you know a Caitlin, you probably know that to be true. Um, but Caitlin also has a YouTube. I have to check that out. Um, I'll put that right here. It's Cupcake. Oh my God, that's so cute. Cupcake 18. And so I've checked that out. You should definitely check it out also. And she included an extra zap pin, which I'm like super thrilled about. And she says, I hope you enjoy them. I do. And she loves watching me on YouTube. Thank you. I hope I love watching you too soon. And she's honored to be trading with me. Oh my God, like that is so nice. That is so nice. I'm honored to have traded with you too and all the people I trade with. And she also threw in like just super cute Winnie the Pooh stickers. It's just Pooh Bear. And I just last night saw the Christopher Robin movie and any parts with the Pooh and Friends were like the best movie ever. I found some of it to be honestly a little bit boring when it was not featuring the Pooh Friends. But anytime they were on screen, aces. Just nailed it, loved it. Okay, so this pin set came out recently, it was four pins, and it came out for Halloween time in the Disney parks, and it was Hocus Pocus. And I grew up watching Hocus Pocus all the time because my mom loved that movie. We even have a cat, my mom still has her, um, her name is Mitzi Binks because she's named after, is it Zachary Binks? I actually haven't watched Hocus Pocus maybe in almost 10 years, so I probably need to watch it again, but I'm fairly sure the cat's name was Binks and Zachary's coming to me, so maybe that's it. But I watched it so much growing up. And I traded with her just for the cat pin, but she also threw in another pin, and I'm super excited. I traded with somebody else, shout out to Melissa, for the cauldron pin that was on here. And so I, if I wanna complete this, I only need to trade for the Hocus Pocus Sanderson Sisters pin. But if not, those were actually my three pins I really wanted from this set. So I'm like done, I'm super excited. So these are the two pins that Caitlin traded with me, and here is my cat, my Binksy. Um, and so he's the Everybody Wants to Be a Cat cat pin. I don't even know if I told you it's supposed to be a cat pin, but there you go, it's supposed to be a cat pin. And I think this is phenomenal. I cannot wait to put this on 
not only do I collect Disney cats, but I want to put like this specifically on my Halloween board. So I'm so excited I have that. Um, another wonderful pin friend, Melissa, traded me the cauldron pin that would have been right here on the card. And then Kate zapped me with the black flame candle pin right here. It's so pretty, so pretty. And then this is where the other pin would have gone. And maybe I'll need to get my hands on that too. We'll see. But love this kitty cat pin. Absolutely love it. The next pin in this video is inspired by a dream is a wish your heart makes. And to me, that is like the quintessential Disney song. Cinderella to me is the Disney princess. Cinderella's castle is the Disney castle. The fairy godmother is like the Disney sidekick. Like, I mean, sidekick might be a little bit of a stretch because maybe the mice are like really her sidekicks, but still, um, I just feel like every part of that movie is just Disney to me. Like that's my thought when I go to Disney, like, like I'm even wearing like the Cinderella blue ears. I got my Disneyland spirit Jersey shirt on that's like Cinderella blue. So, I mean, I call all blue, I guess Cinderella blue. Cause these are very different. I'm very aware of that. <laughs> um, but anyway, so this is, this is not a pin that has anything to do with Cinderella. It's inspired by the song, a dream is a wish your heart makes. And it's supposed to be your grail pin. I have a lot of trouble with grail pins. I'm going to be honest. And the reason is because I feel like to be a real true grail, it needs to be really expensive. I mean, I guess it could just be hard to find, but it needs to be really expensive in my opinion to be a grail. And I'm just like having no part of that. Like <laughs> I just have zero interest in spending $200 on a pin. Like, no, thank you. Heroin profiles, get out of here. Like character clusters, bye bye Like I don't even want to consider liking them because what's the point? Like that's, no. Do you know how much food I can get in Disney World for $200? So my grails are a little more reasonable. I do have this one girl and I'll try to insert a picture of it, but I do have this one grail because I love Christmas and I love Belle in the gold dress. And it's, I believe it's a WDI pin and it is Belle in her gold dress by a beautifully decorated Christmas tree. And so I think that one's going for around 70 and I would never pay more than like $50 for a pin I really wanted. 50 is even a, a big stretch for me. I'm not saying that's like a normal everyday thing. Like 50 is kind of my grail pin limit. It's 70 and so I think it, maybe it could be like a birthday present or like a, um, a Christmas present actually. Uh, you know, <coughs> cough cough to my husband. <coughs> um, um, and so it'll probably be on the Christmas wish list. But that's like a big grail pin I have right now, but I wanted to share a different pin with you because I kind of have a grail set that I want and all the pins from it are kind of going anywhere from like 25 to $35. I think that's fairly reasonable for a grail pin. And I have two of them so far. I have one that I'm going to show you one that's on the way to me. No, I'm sorry. I have two of them already here. One that I'll show you one that I'll show you in the future in a pin mail video. And then I have one on the way to me. And I think there's, that's only like three more in a set and they're Hong Kong pins. They are egg tart pins, which means they have little character faces in this cute little egg tart shell. And so I really want to collect the entire set of these. I think the only ones left are Marie, the little green man, who's my favorite character from Disney from Toy Story. And I think I, maybe it's Stitch. I actually have to look. It doesn't even matter to me. I just want the whole set. <laughs> but I have a little story about that. So I'm going to show you what this is. And I'm going to tell you a little story about my girl pin. So this is what the pins look like. It's this cute little egg tart shell. And again, I believe these are from Hong Kong Disney. I'm looking on the back. It says Hidden Mickey Pin Hong Kong Disneyland. So this Hidden Mickey series. And so I feel like $35 is a lot of money to spend on a Hidden Mickey pin. But that's what they're going for on eBay. This Winnie the Pooh I got from Disney pins auctions. Actually, I've gotten all of my three that I have from Disney pins auctions. So check them out again, not sponsored, would love to be, but I don't think they make any money. So that's not going to work. <laughs> um, I have Dumbo and I just got the Cheshire cat, but now the woman who was selling the Cheshire cat was also selling the little green man and I wanted it badly and I could have gotten it for like $17 but they have very strict auction end times. And I was like maybe 15 minutes too late because it was while I was teaching and I had to wait till I could go on a break to put in a bid. And I'm just devastated that I didn't get it. So about $35 for the little green man version of this. It's an egg tart and it's gorgeous. And so that's my like reasonable grail that I'm trying to get. Okay, to continue, 
continue on in the vein of this video being like filled with songs I'm not that into or for or know, knowing all the words to. <laughs> um, this next pin is inspired by the Moana song Shiny, which I don't like it. I don't like it. To me, that whole movie would be better if the entire Tamatoa part was just gone. I don't like it. I'm bored by it. I do like the glittery parts of it. I just think he's a boring villain. I'm not into it. I like my villains to be a little more relatable, and he's just like this giant crab who likes shiny stuff. Like, what about, you know, wanting to commit your your dream girl's father to an insane asylum so that you can marry her? Like, that's crazy. Or like, convincing a young beautiful mermaid to give up her singing voice so then you can just trick her fiance, like her love into marrying you instead like what that's some crazy stuff right there um cinderella lady tremaine like her stepmother you know just ruining her entire life trying to stop her happiness at every second and then you have tamatoa who's like i just want shiny stuff like what i'm sorry i'm not into it i don't like the song Whew, I, when I when I watch Moana, I just talk over that part or go in the other room and get a, get something to eat. Like, not a fan. Do love Moana though. Do love Moana though. Anywho, shiny inspires a glitter pin, which I do have, and this pin is one of my favorite pins that I own. You have seen it before, but I feel like you're gonna love seeing it again. And this could also have fallen under a cat pin or a future pin that I'm gonna, like the future category is gonna be like a food pin. It really could fall under a whole bunch of them. But this is one of my favorite Hong Kong Disney pins. We're also having that like Cinderella blue color theme going on today. So this fits perfectly. This is one of the pretzel pins from the Hong Kong mystery set of the pretzels and popcorns and of course it features my favorite Hong Kong character Gelatoni and he has some chocolate covered pretzels going on there and this pin is very glittery and just gorgeous and I love the pink banner to contrast the the blue background and I just think everything is on this pin is absolute perfection and again I could have shown this for a lot of categories because it covers a lot of bases uh, but I think this is just stunning and it's my shiny pin. The next pin I have is a relatively recent Disney open edition pin and it is I mean so phenomenal if you know me a lot of you do you know that I love the Haunted Mansion it is my husband John and I's like favorite shared attraction and so it's a Haunted Mansion pin and you're gonna be like you know what Kate I don't see where you're going with this bear with me there's a connection I promise I'll explain it but you might be a little confused in the beginning the Disney song, or maybe I should say songs, that inspired this pin, I believe Taryn on her channel had this listed as Ohana. Um, and then the Disney sisters had this listed as Welcome, I think from Brother Bear. I never saw Brother Bear, so I'm, I think it, they said it's called Welcome. So either way, one of those two songs. And it's supposed to be a pin that reminds you of your family. So, can you hear those crickets? Like, why then do I have a Haunted Mansion pin? Well, I already said, this pin is Haunted Mansion themed, and my husband and I love the Haunted Mansion. Some of my favorite Disney memories are going into the stretching room with him, or riding in a doom buggy with him. So, absolutely phenomenal. And that ride opened on my husband's birthday. I mean, not the year he was born, but the actual day. And so that's really fun to me, because it's his favorite ride. That's so cool. And... When I take a future um, Disney trip with some family that's coming up this summer, I'll give you more details throughout the year, but when I take my family members to Disney World in the summer, I plan on Haunted Mansion being their very first ever Disney ride. So you guys, spoiler alert, that's what you're going to be riding first when you go to Magic Kingdom. Um, but. I think they're gonna love it. I think it's going to be everybody's like shared family favorite ride. So to me, that's why this is a pin that reminds me of my family because I think it's going to be all of our favorite rides. So I still even have the backer card for this pin. I've never shown it before on my channel. Like I said, I think it is fairly recent. It says a ghost will follow you home. 
Um, yeah, which, I mean, it is better than becoming one of the 999 happy haunts, right? And it features the hatbox ghost, like, but that's not what he looks like. It's a very, like, cartoony version of him. But he's holding the hatbox, and I just think this pin's really cool. I have a growing Haunted Mansion collection, and I can't wait for my family members to hear the ghost host introducing them to the ride in the stretching room, and it's like a half scary ride, half funny ride. So I just can't wait to see what they think about this, and... This definitely reminds me of family. One thing I would love to hear from you guys is what Disney ride or attraction makes you think of your family? Maybe there was a ride your kids loved when you used to take them to Disney when they were little, or maybe it's, maybe you got engaged in Disney and it was the first ride you went on afterwards, or maybe you just, like me, you just love a ride and all of you share that love for it. So, and you, maybe you quote things from it all the time. My husband and I also, um, we, well, we used to. We used to sing like, it's a great big beautiful tomorrow to each other. Um, and so I always think of him when I think of the Carousel Progress, and that makes me love that attraction. I hope they never get rid of it. Anywho, no wait, there is one attraction that makes me think of family, but like almost in a negative way. So it's not there any longer, but years and years and years and years ago, before I ever went to Disney, there was Captain EO, which is like a Michael Jackson 4D ride in, um, I think it's 4D, because they also like blow air at you and move your chair around and stuff like that and it's 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 thank god it's gone um but it came back for a little while and so i did get to experience it and i know my husband's parents loved this ride this attraction we literally walked out of there like what was that what was that it's so bizarre and so weird and if you've ever seen captain you you've got to let me know down in the comments below what did you think of it like are you like girl you're crazy that's amazing or are you like me and you're like I don't know what emoji that is. I've been looking for a shrug emoji, so let me know if you have one, but it's like, what? Like, no, no thank you. And that used to be an Epcot, by the way, if you if you had never been um, been there. But moving on, I would just love to know that about you, what, what Disney attraction or ride makes you think of family. I think that's really fun. Moving on, the next song that inspired a Disney pin is Painting the Roses Red, which is one of my favorite things from Disney. And it's a floral pin. This was hard to pick, and this again, this pin could have gone in a few different categories. And this pin is a Tokyo Disney Resort pin. I believe it's still open edition. And I did get this pin on Facebook from Jenny from Discount Disney Pin Sales. I believe it's called a Discount Disney Pin Trading. I don't remember, I'll put it right here. Um, but you absolutely need to follow Jenny. Once a month she posts pin boards and sometimes she has pins from the Asian parks. So if you're interested in getting these pins at a very reasonable cost, definitely check her out. So here's my Painting the Roses Red, and one of the reasons I did pick this one, because I had a bunch of pins in contention for this um, this song, I liked that it had roses on it. So it really aligned with the the assignment, I guess. So we have three beautiful roses for a very beautiful princess on a very just pretty pin. It's a girly pin. I have Ariel and Jasmine also in this series, but they're not in hearts. They're all in like their own little shape. Like I think Ariel is in a tea, uh, is in a seashell. And Jasmine, I feel like is just in like a really cool geometric shape. I don't think it's um, necessarily anything in particular. I know they also have Rapunzel. It's the only one that Jenny was selling that I didn't pick up. So maybe I'll get her in the future. And I'm not sure if they have any other princesses. If you know, let me know. Help a girl out. But I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I think Belle looks beautiful. And my husband just saw this series of pins. And he doesn't have that many comments on my pins. Like he's super supportive. But it's like he's not that into pins. He thought these were absolutely stunning. So you know they're good. Okay, for the next song, I'm going to do my own little thing a little bit and I couldn't pick. I'm going to show you two pins. And this is inspired by the song Be Our Guest, which I would be shocked if there's any, anybody out there who doesn't like the Be Our Guest song. I love it. I, lo I don't want you to think I'm like just throwing shade on like all these Disney songs. I love Be Our Guest. I just love Beauty and the Beast. It's one of my favorite movies, both live action and animated. Although I kind of think I like the live action a little bit more. Like a little bit, not a ton, just like a little, but enough to mention it. <laughs> and like, I didn't think I was going to like Emma Watson as Belle at all. I was like super anti that, but I really actually, I, I did. I liked her performance. I thought she was good. Anywho, let's get back to the pins, Kate. This is supposed to be the Be Our Guest pin. It's a pin from a park you want to visit. So I just couldn't decide. I decided to show a Hong Kong Disneyland pin because it's just one of my favorite pins. You're not gonna be surprised who's on it if you've been paying attention. 
And then the other one, I just thought was a little more creative. So I'm gonna like leave you in suspense as to what it is. It's Gelatoni, like obviously, right? And so he's on this Hong Kong lollipop uh, mystery set pin. And this is my favorite mystery set of all of them, like hands down, like it's not even hard to decide. That's my favorite mystery set that's ever existed. And I think the colors on this pin are absolutely stunning. And Gelatoni again is my favorite, like, Asian Park character, and I really would love to see all of the Disney parks around the world, so this obviously was representing Hong Kong, and I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. It's a bucket list. I just crossed off Disneyland for the first time this summer, so I'll get there. I'll get there. I have high hopes. I will be your guest, Hong Kong Disneyland. That sounds like a threat, doesn't it? I will be your guest, whether you like it or not. Now, this other pin is not representing necessarily a park that I have yet to visit, but a land that I have yet to visit in a park I have visited. So this is the Bo Peep pin from the Toy Story Land limited release mystery box that came out at the beginning of the Toy Story Land opening. And I will be getting there this year, but I haven't yet gotten to see Toy Story Land. So even though I've been to Disney World, this is a big like goal for me. I don't want to say bucket list because I already know I'm going to do it, but it's definitely up there for me as something I want to do. And I want to just shout out somebody who traded me this pin. That's Lauren. Lauren traded me this and the, I'll show you as well, just to make sure she gets her full shout out, this Alice in Wonderland nesting doll pin. Um, and I traded her three pins for these two because I figured this one had a little more value and I wanted to make sure it was fair, but I think this is really cute. I have a few of those boxes to open. I decided to open them a little later than other people were opening them because at first I wasn't sure I liked this set too much, but there are certain characters I want to collect. I don't want the whole set. Bo Peep was one of my must-haves, so I'm super excited that Lauren had her for trade. And I also want to just shout out Lauren because she wrote me a super sweet note. Um, so I hope she's watching this. And she also had been tr she traded a pair of earrings that somebody told her were pins, but they're actually earrings. So I'm going to show you those really quickly too. And she was super sweet and thought of me and decided to send them along. And Lauren, I will wear those, so thank you so much. And here are the super cute little earrings that Lauren thought to, to, to gift to me, a little zap, because she doesn't have pierced ears, but I do. So I will definitely be rocking these in a future video and on future Disney trips. So thank you so much. That zap did not go to waste. I really appreciate it. Okay, only two more Disney songs and Disney pins to go. This next pin is also a Hong Kong Disneyland pin because, I mean, obviously, they're awesome and I'm addicted to them. And I think it's also something that I won from Disney pins auctions, I'm fairly certain. And this is inspired by the song Everything is Honey, which I actually don't remember. I'm assuming is a Winnie the Pooh reference, but beats me. I'm assuming that. And it's, so it's supposed to be a food pin. Tur I mean, I had a lot of options for this. I decided to go with just something a little unusual that I didn't think anybody else would show in their pin tag. So I hope that you like this pin. I think it's pretty sweet. Pun not intended, but on point. So here is a Sum Sum Hong Kong Disneyland pin, and all of the characters are ice cream scoops. I mean, how cute is that? And then this is a little rubberized waffle bowl, which honestly, in a specialty kind of cone, is how I prefer my ice cream if I'm going to splurge and have some ice cream. And then also this Dale right here, which I kind of think it's cool that it's just like Dale and Chip, they're both there, but like one of them's a little different than the other, sets him apart a little bit. He's this like pin on pin action right here. He's a little smaller, Dale's a little bigger. And we have Dale dripping onto Goofy. You have Mickey right here and you have um, Donald and Daisy. So I'm a little sad Minnie didn't work her way onto this pin too, but that's okay. You have some adorable characters and just a really sweet pin. And it's fairly large too. Um, my sister always laughs because I, I measure my pins in like finger sizes, but I feel like it's very relatable. So this is about four fingers tall and about three fingers wide. So it's, it's a heftier pin. It's, it's pretty large and it wasn't that expensive. It's definitely one you can still get your hands on, I believe on eBay. So if you like it, go check it out. I think this is really sweet. I did it again. I'm sorry. 
And ending really strong, I think, is the song It All Started With The Mouse, which I love that is ironically at the end of this video. It all started with the mouse. We all have to remember that. That's why I definitely collect Mickey and Minnie. I'm always on the lookout for really cool Mickey and Minnie pins, whether they are limited pins or whether they're open edition pins or mystery pins, whatever. I just like them. And so of course this is a Mickey Mouse inspired pin. And I, I think I got a pretty good one, honestly. And I, I'm playing with it because it has a really fun spinning element. This was also a pin I just recently acquired in a trade. Unfortunately, I seem to have misplaced the actual um, envelope. So I'm really sorry if I missed out on any like note that you sent or any um, zap. I don't think so. But this is from an awesome girl named Megan. We traded pins and she had this Mickey and Minnie spinner pin. I can't wait to show you. Here we go. I figured let's end big, right? This is a pin from 2009, and it has all of these park icons on it, and it's Mickey and Minnie, and they spin around. They're having so much fun on their Disney trip. And so this fits my number one Disney collection, which is characters at the parks, and it also makes my heart super, super happy because of this guy right here, the Sorcerer Mickey hat that used to be at Hollywood Studios. I loved the Mickey hat. I loved it. I know a lot of people didn't. I love it. You gotta let me know if you missed the hat or not. Um, I'm gonna do a video one of these days, one day, where I talk about some of my unpopular Disney opinions, and I think that's one of them. I think a lot of people did not like the hat, but I love the hat. I'm glad we got a ton of pictures with it before it went. I hope it comes back one day. I don't know. Um, but there are other great icons here, like, of course, Spaceship Earth, which I just still call the Epcot Ball. I know I shouldn't, but I do. The Tree of Life, with it looks like even like a little safari vehicle maybe there. Space Mountain, which I love, 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 love. And of course, the castle. Oh, and the monorail connecting Magic Kingdom to Epcot. So I think this pin's super cool. I love it. Thank you so much for the trade. And uh, don't forget, it all started with a mouse. But remember, behind every great mouse, great female mouse. So thank you so much for watching my pin tag video. I was super excited to be tagged by Taryn, and I'm going to now tag a few more people. I do want to say that if you don't, if you're just starting a YouTube channel, I'm probably not going to tag you, even if I love your videos, because I just don't want to put that pressure on you, um, because you might not have all these pins that fit the different categories yet, but please, if you decide, if anybody out there decides, I'm going to do a YouTube video, even if I don't have a channel normally, to do this pin tag, or I'm going to start my channel with this pin tag, or I've only had a few videos, but I'm going to do it. Let me know. I want to watch it. Definitely let me know. Anytime you have Disney content, I want to see it. Um, and so anybody out there, even if I don't tag you, because I don't want to tag like 15 people, I just picked five. If there are any of you who are doing it, definitely let me know. I want to check your video out. I want to subscribe to your channel, so let me know. Never feel like you're bothering me with that information. But I just wanted to say thank you so much to Taryn for tagging me. It really made me smile. This is the first pin tag I've ever participated in, and I hope to be doing a lot more, and maybe someone out there will contact me to collaborate on a pin tag that you would like to start. I'd be happy to do that. All right. So, I, I do have a list written down, and not, not all of this is, is pin tag stuff, but this is like my to-do video list. So I can just, you know what, I'm just gonna whew, it cross off pin tag, because we got it, we, we're good, we're done, all right. But here's who I'm tagging, I would love to hear down below, I know I've asked you to share a few things down below, let's see, your thoughts on Captain EO, your thoughts on uh, the the old hat, the Sorcerer Mickey hat that used to be in Hollywood Studios. Of course, what was your favorite like family attraction or a ride that makes you think of your family? And now here, I would also love to know which of these people are you, would you be super excited to see their pin tag video? Because I'd be excited to see all of them. The first person that I would love to see a pin tag for is um, Yvette from Happily Ever Evie. Her channel name used to be Yvette Lewis. Um, and I know she said all her friends call her Evie, so I hope I can do that. Um, but so I would love to see hers. I know she has like such a good Disney dog collection, so I'd love to see some of her pins there. The next people I'd like to see a pin tag from are Mel and Nat from Mel Nat Twin Lifestyle. Um, they're Canadian twin sisters who do a whole bunch of unboxings, and if you have not seen them before, or if you have but you haven't subscribed, 
you need to go do that right after this video. I feel that way about everybody on this list, by the way. You need to go like subscribe to them right away, like yesterday, because I'm only saying them because they have great channels. Um, Mel and Nat, I love your videos, you know that, and I hope more people subscribe to you because they also do a lot of um, like Asian park unboxings, which I don't know about you, but that's my favorite. So let's do let's 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 see a pin tag from them. I want to see some Asian park pins. Um, I know that they collect a lot of cool stuff. Laura from Pins and Pixie Dust, I'm tagging you, girl, because you have such a cool channel, and I know you have some cool pins. You also have some cool Asian Park pins, so I want to see them, plus I want to learn more about what you collect, so hopefully there'll be like a theme going that we can find more about you from this pin tag. Nikki and Tracy from Forever Disney, tag tag, you're both it. I think someone else might have tagged you, but I wanted to tag you too, so tag again. Um, their channel is Forever Disney. They do a lot of awesome content, including unboxings, and I feel like they do some trip vlogs as well and some other content, so you should definitely check them out if you haven't. And finally, last but, oh my god, like not least, Allie from the Miss Allie Cakes. I think everybody on the internet was practically right, because like everybody on the internet on YouTube follows Allie. Um, I think we'd love to see a pin tag from you. Um, I know that Allie collects Beauty and the Beast. She's put up her pin board before and I was like, swoon, yes. So I'd love to see other pins from her collection that would fit these Disney songs. Shout out to everybody who's done this video. Shout out to Taryn for tagging me. Shout out to all the people I've tagged. Hopefully you will, you know, get on this and in the next couple weeks film and edit and share with us your own pin tags. And anybody who doesn't have a channel but is thinking about it, this could be your first video. Um, tell everybody Princess Minnie tagged you. You can do that. That's cool. I tag because I tag you right now. Thank you so much for joining with me. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up so I know I should do more pin tags. Or if you liked any pins in this this video, thumbs up. It, I love seeing the thumbs up. You might be like, oh, nobody really cares about that, but I do. It means a lot to me. So give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up so I can keep bringing you awesome Disney content comment down below, go watch other people's pin tags, and just have an awesome magical Disney day. I'll see you real soon.